Some people don't like me. You know, some people don't like you. Some people never liked Jesus. Years ago, I played basketball at Bluefield College, played in the Golden Dome. When basketball season was over, I would go down there in the afternoons and, and play. Remember one day I was down there and we was playing a pickup game. Tommy Warwick was sitting in the stands. We was out there playing a pickup game and all of a sudden this guy elbowed me right in the jaw. I went to my knees just for a minute and then I got up and I went after that guy. I knew if I went after him, everybody would come in and break the fight up, and they did. There was not one punch <clears throat> thrown. After the scrimmage and after all that was over, Tommy Warwick told me, he said, do you know who that guy is? I said, no. He, he said, that guy is mean and tough, and he'll probably get you. He said, I know the guy. He, he fights all the time. Few days after that, guess what? He called me out. He called me out through Tommy Warwick. He said, let's meet behind the Golden Dome and finish this. The next day he said, let's meet behind the lunch hall and finish this. All along he was doing that. Tommy Warwick comes to me and he says, this guy's bugging me to death. You're gonna have to do something. I said, what am I gonna have to do? He said, you're gonna have to meet him. I said, well, okay. And I told him, I said, you know, the last time I was ever in a fight was when I was in high school. I was boxing this guy. He was a Golden Gloves boxer, and he knocked me down three times. I said, that's the last time I even threw a punch at anybody. That's all it took. <laughs> that's all it took. Warwick went to this guy and he said, Brent will meet you behind the golden, golden dome at such and such time on such and such day. But he said, I need to tell you this. <laughs> he said, Brent's a golden gloves boxer. Well, that day came and I went behind the golden dome and he wasn't there. He wasn't anywhere. I didn't see him for three or four days. And then... I was back down to the gym maybe a week or two later, and I was one of the captains. We were picking people to play on our team. And I looked under the basket, and guess who was there? Brock, that guy. He was there. And you know what I did? I picked him to be on my team. And we played, and he really wasn't that good, but we played, and I would say, oh, that's, that's a nice shot. You're really good. You should go out for the varsity team. I said all those things. And you know what? We became friends. We became best friends. Well, he would have, even, he would have probably been my best man in my wedding. We became such good friends. And I remember him asking me after all that was over, he looked over and he, he said, was you really a Golden Gloves boxer? I said, no. He said, you know I would have cleaned your clock. <laughs> I said, yes, I know. But you know what happened there? 
This is what happened. You know what I did? I treated him like I wanted to be treated. I treated him like I wanted to be treated. And that took care of it. Treat others the way you want to be treated. There are people that don't like you. You may know who they are. You may not. You may know what you did. You may not. You may have said something, done something. They may be jealous. It's hard to tell, but there are people, for whatever reason, that don't like us. And sometimes we know who they are, but some, sometimes we don't. There's people that don't like me. There's people that don't like you. And you know, there were people that didn't like Jesus. There are people that didn't like Jesus. I don't know whether there are people now that don't like Jesus or not. But during his time, while he was preaching and teaching, while he was feeding the hungry, while he was forgiving people, there were people that didn't like him. Some of the scribes and the Pharisees didn't like him. They were constantly cornering him, trying to catch him. They were mistreating him constantly. They didn't like him. Jesus said, he said, don't be critical of people. So often we are critical of people and people are critical of us. Don't be critical of people. Don't judge people. Don't judge people. And so often, whether we admit it or not, we do judge people, maybe within our own minds, but we do judge people. Don't judge people. Jesus said, in the matter, the way you judge, that judgment will be laid at your feet. Years ago, I was at a church. I'd been there maybe a year. And I began to notice as I preached, this one person when I started preaching, they looked down. They would not look up. They would not look up. After I sat down and finished preaching, they would look up and carry on. And I thought, you know, this person really doesn't like me. It, it was an unusual situation. When this person was there, it was like somebody would take a big wet blanket and throw over the congregation. They just brought this bad feeling into the service. And when this person wasn't there, it was like a nice, bright, sunshiny day. It was completely different if they were there or if they weren't, weren't there. And you know what I did? I never mistreated the person. I was always nice to the person. But you know what I did? I acted like that person didn't exist. That's how I acted. I remember what Mark Twain said. He said, you know, we're supposed to love everyone, but people, some people, it's hard to love, and the only way to love them is to stay away from them. That's what Mark Twain said. But that's not what Jesus said. Jesus said, treat all people, even the ones that don't like you, even the ones that are critical of you, even the ones that judge you, treat all people like you want to be treated. Now listen, this is amazing. Years ago before I followed Jesus, before I was a Christian, I did the right thing eventually. I went back and treated Brock the way I wanted to be treated. And you fast forward after I became a Christian and a preacher of the good news of the gospel, I treated a person like they didn't exist. That was terrible. That was wrong. We are to treat people like we want to be treated. Let's do that. Amen.